Was there an artist that, I guess we can go to the dancing, that you really wanted to work with that you couldn't get a chance to? Um, no. <laughs> no, I think everyone that I've, I never had like a list of people that I wanted to dance with. Um, mostly just because I was just focused on having my own dancers. Mm -hmm. But um, if I had to pick one person that I haven't worked with that I think it would be a good time to work with, probably Chris Brown, because they get it. They get it in. Those that, that was really just a setup question for this question. Uh -oh. Opportunity. Mm -hmm. Have you felt like you weren't prepared for an opportunity like you should have been? Because you know how they say, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Mm -hmm. Was there ever a time where opportunity came on your table and you was like, I couldn't even, I can't take this because I'm not prepared for it. Or the opposite, I'm glad that I've been training and staying on top of my things mm -hmm. because now I can take this opportunity. Hmm. I don't feel like I ever wasn't ready for anything. Um, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. I mean, that, that goes without saying. You should always stay on top of your stuff. I think it's more of just staying in the right mental space because there have been so many times where I've been ready, but I've talked myself out of like going to an audition or putting something out just because there's always like that self doubt. A lot, you know, a lot of artists are like that. Mm -hmm. um, the, when I got the Rihanna audition, I wasn't gonna go. My, literally my friend, it was her like career goal to dance for Rihanna. So she was going and I'm like, you know what? Like, I already know how big auditions like this work. Like it wasn't a private audition. I thought that that specific choreographer already had her little group of dancers in LA that she uses. So I'm like, they're just wasting our time. They just want to like film Rihanna watching us all dance for some something she'll use eventually on social media or on a show or something. And I booked it and I was not gonna, it was such a joke to me that like, I wasn't taking it seriously. I just got in the zone where I'm like, I'm just gonna have fun. I was laughing because I, I was literally like going into the room laughing. Like, I don't know why I'm doing this. I don't know why I'm here. Like, this is a joke. And I booked it. <laughs> and probably seeing like um, your personality. You got a chance to really display yourself in the purest form. Yeah. It's like, cause I don't care. Yeah, I mean, I think like for that audition, Rihanna's tall. I'm not. So that audition, I think you were supposed to be like five seven and up, and I was like five four and a half, and I like wore my Tim, so I got like a little something. And they made us all line up shortest to tallest at like one of the final cuts. And of course, like I'm on the very right, I'm the shortest person in the room. I'm like, oh, now I'm about to get cursed out by the casting director because she knows I shouldn't be here. I don't even think she wanted me. Rihanna picked me. And um, no, it just worked out. No, yeah, it's funny. <laughs> funny how that thing happened. What I was alluding to was the story you told me about um, first coming out here and meeting the casting director. Oh, the choreographer. The choreographer. Yes. Yes, I think the most important thing is to network with people because all of, like I had a string of first jobs that I did when I first moved here. And that choreographer who booked me for everything I had met like five years before when I was just taking a random dance class in LA <clears throat> on a, on a two week visit. I wasn't living in LA. I was still, I'm not sure if I was in Buffalo. I was still in Buffalo at that time. And we just exchanged information and I always kept her number and I always just was checking on her social media to see what she was doing. And I didn't even know if she would remember me when I came back, but I reached out and she knew exactly who I was and she had a job for me. And I, I didn't even audition for it. Yeah, that's what reminded me of the importance of staying ready. Yeah. To book you on an audition and not even know if you've been keeping up with your craft. Right. You could have been out of shape. Yeah, you and I don't know, and that was a woman, and I don't know why she took that chance on me, because it wasn't like a shady, like, situation where it could have been a man just trying to, like, flex on me or something like that. No, that was just great. <laughs> What would be the, one of the first things you would recommend to a young girl moving out here trying to pursue this career? Would you tell her to come out here to visit? Would you tell her to, you know, come out here with a friend? What would be something you would recommend to a young girl moving out here? I would definitely, rec if you can, try to visit first. 
stay with a friend if you have any out here. Um, and if you're trying to dance, definitely take classes and just make as many friends as you can because that's what's gonna get you through everything. That's what's gonna get you jobs. That's what's gonna keep you sane. Um, if you hit a hard time, that's who you're gonna stay with. So I think that's the most important thing. Was there ever a time in your dance career that you felt like, you know what, or artistry in general, you know what, I'm done with this. I'm moving back to Buffalo. I'm done, you know. Is there ever any of those points? And if so, how did you get through them? Um, I never felt like I was completely done, but I definitely have been over it. And at those times, I would just find some like regular part-time job or something, something that gave me the flexibility to just like, the flexibility and the security to just chill and like dabble in my artistry or dabble in dance if I felt like it. But I never wanted to feel like I don't know, I have to go to these auditions because I don't know how I'm gonna pay my rent. You know, with with a with an industry that I was already fed up with, like no, that's just all bad. <laughs> but um never felt like I was gonna go back to Buffalo. I had a moment where I was like, maybe I'll go to Atlanta because it's so much cheaper there. And I heard that like Black Hollywood is about to pop off down there. But I think the most opportunities are in LA, so you have to be here. Thank you for watching A Wise Way. Subscribe to stay updated, share to pass the knowledge, or view our other videos on the left.